Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Hunsaker of Desert Valley Audiology. I want to talk to you about a few uh, new products in the hearing aid world that have received a lot of news lately. A few, uh, they're called deep insertion hearing aids. Now there's extended wear and there's also uh, daily removal, kind of making the same comparison as you would to contact lenses. So the extended wear is called the Lyric. And that's the first product I'll talk about. Lyric is the first hearing aid of its kind, and it really started a revolution in the hearing aid world. Oftentimes you'll see when a hearing aid really hits a chord that uh, other hearing aid companies start to imitate that design. And so first we'll talk about the Lyric as it is the one that started it. As you'll see in this picture here, the Lyric is the little yellow foam part there. Um, the, the diagram shows the ear canal and uh, shows the deep insertion of the Lyric. So the idea behind the Lyric is you wear the hearing aid for three months, typically lasts about three months at a time, so you leave it in your ear continuously for three months. Uh, the batteries then die. The batteries are encased in the hearing aid and there's no way to change it. So when the battery dies, the Lyric must be removed and then a new one placed in its, uh, in its place. So let's talk about the positives and the negatives of a Lyric hearing aid. Positives are, it's deep and it's going to be invisible. Uh, really, when it's inserted well, you can't see it. Even if you're looking down into the ear canal, you will not see it. And so that really attracts people to the idea behind it. Uh, it doesn't need to be removed, so that's also a nice thing. Every night, you're not having to take it out. You can shower with it. You can, uh, I believe you can even swim with it. You probably want to be a little cautious when you do, but it's not typically going to be hurt by water, and you don't have to remove it or put it in every night. So there's some of the advantages. Some of the disadvantages are it's expensive. Uh, typical, typical price is going to be anywhere from $1,600 to about $2,000 per device per year. So it's a subscription fee. You wear it for three months or so until the battery dies. It's taken out. Your audiologist puts a new one in, and that continues for a year's time. Once the year is up and the, and the battery runs out and you have to have it replaced, you're looking at another subscription fee. So if you're doing two hearing aids, you're looking anywhere from $3,500 to $4,000 a year to keep up with the lyric. Once the uh, lease, if you want to call it that, has run out, uh, you're without a hearing aid. And so that's some of the disadvantages. Uh, some of the other disadvantages are it is a deep insertion hearing aid, and as such, it's into the part of the ear canal that it's a very thin layer of skin over bone, and so it's a very sensitive area. The, the, the numbers say about 40 to 50 percent of people who want to try a Lyric can wear one because of, again, the, the sensitivity of that part of the ear, the dimensions of your ear might not be big enough to accommodate it. Uh, they're continuing to improve on this product, and as they do, uh, the goal is to get more and more people in that percentage that can wear it. So here's a picture taken from the Lyric website, which is lyrichearing.com. As I had mentioned, uh, Lyric is what we call an extended wear hearing aid, and that's why they make the comparison in this picture to a contact lens. Lyric is the only hearing aid that is made this way, that is made for extended use. Now I'm going to talk about the hearing aids that are similar in the sense that they are a deep insertion, and so they are as invisible as possible, but they're designed to be removed daily. Several hearing aid companies have come out with their version of a deep insertion hearing aid. The first company to do so was Starkey, and they came out with the Sound Lens about two years ago in the summer of 2010. And that is this one here, and as you'll notice that it's, uh, it's as deep as the Lyric, but the difference is it does have a pull cord. And so you're able to take this in and out by yourself, and it has a normal 10 battery, which is standard on hearing aids that you will change out. So positives and negatives of this one. It's a five day, five day battery life, so you are going to be changing the battery more frequently than you would with the Lyric. Uh, that's one of the disadvantages. And, and the other disadvantage is that it's not an extended wear, so you will take it out at night. Uh, you'll put it in the morning. Now that's not always a disadvantage, sometimes that's an advantage. You're able to let your ear breathe it at night, and uh, if it gets uncomfortable, you can take it out and get a rest, whereas you can't do that with the Lyric. Some of the advantages, however, are it's it's uh, a little cheaper in the long run than the Lyric. Uh, this can run you anywhere from, oh, say, two thousand dollars a piece up to four thousand dollars a piece. The difference is it comes with a three-year warranty, and so 
it's your hearing aid. After the years are out, after your three-year warranty is out, the hearing aid is still yours. Uh, if it continues to work, you're not paying any extra fees to continue to use the hearing aid as you would with the Lyric. Again, comfort is an issue. It is deep in the ear and it doesn't work for everybody's ear. If your ear is narrow or you're ex uh, extra sensitive to things in your ear, this is probably going to be difficult for you to use also. And Phonak came out with their version of a deep insertion hearing aid. And that's the pictures you're seeing here. The difference in this and the sound lens and the Lyric is it doesn't fit quite as deep as those two. And that could be a bad thing in the sense that it is slightly more visible than those two. But it's also a good thing because it's not as deep in the ear and so therefore it's not as sensitive. The outer part of the ear canal is skin over cartilage. So it's not as sensitive to to having something in there as the deeper as, the, as we go deeper into the ear canal. The other thing is because it is not as deep it does tend to fit more ears. So uh, where Lyric is 40 to 50 percent can wear it, the sound lens is probably 60 to 70. Uh, this is probably more around the 80 to 90 percent range that can actually wear it. Now it is a little bit more visible so that's the downside. Again, as with the sound lens by Starkey, uh, the Phonak Nano that you're looking at here is your hearing aid. So you pay for it, same kind of price range, uh, 2000 to about 3500 per device. Uh, once you're done out of your trial ear warranty period, it's still your hearing aid. And so it's not quite as expensive in the way as the Lyric. Many other companies also have a deep insertion hearing aid, including Siemens, which has the iMini, Oticon, with the Intiga IIC, and others. In closing, the, the new trend of deep insertion hearing aids uh, has really taken off in the last couple of years. There's many different varieties for patients. It's not for everyone. Uh, due to the size of the hearing aid, it won't always fit in people's ear canals. And it's not for every hearing loss. Some hearing losses are too, too great to be able to handle a hearing aid like this. These are, because they are small, they're not very powerful and we're not able to get as much power as we, as we would like. But again, as time goes on, I know these things will improve uh, because this is, this is just how the market has gone. We continue to see improvements. So again, if you have any questions about these products or any others, feel f please feel free to give us a call or visit our website, lasvegashears.com, or send me an email. Thank you.